of a watercolor kind of base. You want to put it on, um, like if I wanted to do a vine kind of idea that it was coming up the gate or something. So I'm going to put it on. Did you put on the clear fire? No. You don't need to do clear fire? No, because I'm mixing it with water. Okay. It's going to have it come down this way like leaves. Yeah, you want to put it on so you don't really see through it. See in those areas? I'll kind of go back in. But you don't want to put it on really, really thick. I'm watering it down a bit so that it's not as thick. But you want to mask it. Are they transparent or opaque? These are going to be opaque. Do we have transparent paints also? No, they don't. Just have they don't make it. And you do this after you put... Um, after you already have a coat on it. Okay. You can technically do it, you know, before, but it's very hard to uh, fire. Okay. It very easily can come off. So I'm going to have like a vine coming down and then I can put flowers. But all these areas, see where it got a little light? I'm just going back and kind of touching it up. Just so you can't see the copper through Yeah. Gonna dry a little longer. So. Yes, and actually, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to put my design in. Oh. So that's when I use my scribe to kind of. Oh no! Oh, a scribe. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough Aaron, you can use that toothpick. <laughs> Toothpicks work. Oh. Okay. So that so you're not putting another. Um, let's say if you want to do the actuals. Okay, so I'll leave that one, and then uh, I'm going to let it dry. I wanted you to see the other one. Oh, yeah. So I put on the back on this one, and I fired it a second time, and it came out even nicer. Yeah. You see how it really oh, gets see through? Yeah. I fired the back on it, and I just used a, the mauve, this one. Did you put anything on the front when you did it the second time? Or just no, the second just time left it alone. Okay. Yeah, second time. Okay. Just put the mauve on the back, and I left that bunch of fire scale in there just oh. for, to see what would, you know, what it would look like. And this one I put the opalescent green. Mm. So that's what the opalescent green looks like it's when it's just copper on the back. So, and this one actually, uh, I know we put orange on there, but it, covered up. Now it's starting to turn, if you can see in those lines, it's starting to turn green in there. Mm -hmm. That's actually the reaction to the copper. You know how copper turns kind of green? Mm -hmm. Oxidized. Oxidized. Mm -hmm. That's what it's doing in there. Mm -hmm. Can you pass those around? Sure. Thank you. And this one on the back, well, I'm waiting it to dry, I did the opalescent green and left a bunch of fire scale on it. Mm -hmm. Just to see okay. how what the look would be. It's kind of fun. I did that with 